All right, folks. I told you I'd keep up and uh, let you know how the harvesting methods went. All right, so I found another method that works a hell of a lot better. This right here is just some crate that uh, is to hold the uh, the plant matter in the uh, that has the worms in it, and underneath it, just a whole big section of water. Now, this would normally be full, but unfortunately, I cracked this tank probably from the pressure from this shoving on each side. I'll have to trim it down some and post it up on something. But anyway, uh, it works great. What I do is I lay this right here and I take I took a couple adapters that produce 9 volts and uh, at about 200 milliamps and I've been just touching it basically to the water right here uh, around all the plants, just like that. And it's causing the, water, the worms to scramble and shoot straight down. They they will crawl out of any substrate they're in with this. I mean, this was uh, two adapters strung together that they're they both produce nine volts at about 200 milliamps. So it would work probably. You could probably do this in a nine volt battery. Anyway, I'll show you how they react to it. It they actually respond the same way earthworms do to high voltage. You know, earthworms you can collect them by uh, applying a lot of voltage and to the ground and they'll come out. Well, there you go. See me. See them wiggling around like that? They do that in any substrate. All I gotta do is just add, add electricity. I've gone out to my pond and I've done the same thing uh, out in the sand and they actually they just they do the same thing. They just come right up out of the, out of the mud, out of the sand, out of anything they're in. It's a great way to see if they're actually there or not, because you know I push the two electrodes down into the ground and they start wiggling like mad. Anyway, uh, this is great because it it uh, allows me to harvest these worms practically immediately. I can bring a clump of plant matter in and uh, just set it down on top of this. I have to get another aquarium for it, but. Uh, just shock them a few times and you know they the worms just scramble out it's instantaneous it literally takes me like two minutes and I have enough worms to feed my fish for a week out of probably this much so anyway that's where it's at so far as culturing them right now I've got these worms sitting on a whole bunch of algae this is algae that's grown in another tank of mine all this stuff and uh, what I found is that they actually eat this stuff pretty quickly. I had a whole bunch of algae in here growing before I put all these worms in here. And they ate through it really quickly. And then I just went and got all this from the other tank. I just put this in here today. But, uh, yeah, that's going. There's a whole bunch of uh, Daphne in here because I just scooped them out of my pond as well. But, anyway, I'll let you know how the culturing methods go. Right now I've got a whole bunch of sexually mature worms in there and they should be producing eggs soon uh, they've as far as I can tell they've already been producing some something has been hatching because uh, every once in a while I see a tiny little baby worm crawling around about a centimeter long I don't see any right now if I do I'll post up another video of it anyway that's where I'm at